But yeah, a canine, uh, I'm actually really curious just to see what character he will come out. I know when Banjo was uh, released, he was all about that, but I he sort of changed we'll his Banjo. mind. Yeah, I, so I, I highly doubt we'll see the Banjo. Um, but it's very possible we'll see uh, any of the other, uh, of any of his other characters. We might just see the wolf. No, or? it's gonna be Lucina. I like this matchup for Lucina against Ike. Uh, primarily, you know, it makes it recovery near impossible for Ike with things like the counter. Yeah. Uh, gonna just always hit because he can't snap to the ledge. Uh, as well as just kind of the neutral, being able to space with the sword around Ike is gonna be very good, but Mexican having none of that right now. Yeah, that upbeat K9 went for it is actually a great combo breaking tool, but he used it grounded. Interestingly, the flame frame data on that move changes when yeah. you're in the air. It has a uh, the frames don't necessarily change, but the timing on the invulnerability, the yeah, invulnerability, the invulnerability or invincibility starts at frame one on in the air and frame four on the yeah. ground. So great combo breaker right there. K9 doing his best to even out this percent, but Mexican with a great whiff punish tech rolls away and K9 looking for a tech roll in. Yeah, one thing that's changed about this character, I for sure, is it, it's his ability to put on damage. I've never seen these combos just uh, wreak havoc on Lucina, but Lucina's not a character that's gonna combo you uh, uh, a lot. I, it's yeah. about slow and methodical play where you're going to uh, just put, sort of stuff your opponent out. So, uh, you know, Mexican may have an early lead here, but he's still gotta do a lot more if he wants to take. Uh, out K9 here. I mean, one straight forward tilt, back air, or an up air, things like that, will be able to take it for him. And an up tilt, calling out the neutral grip, would have called out a jump as well, or caught a jump rather, but great option right there. Don't throw into the up beat, just gonna be a bit of guaranteed damage. Okay, I. Parry easy though. Cool. Yeah, wow. Yeah, I know that's something Leo said that once. Uh, once people master pairing, these sword characters are not going to be as good anymore. Uh, I mean, especially that's, Ike. That's what a lot of people said about Ike, but we never talked about what happens when Ike gets the parries down and gets it yeah, going with these down tilts. Oh. oh! And what a catch right there. Jumps on stage with the neutral and says, I can't get anything because I didn't land with it. I was still in the air. But if K9 gets scared and air dodges out, this is a free punish. Yeah, and Lucina hits that grab, but even at this high percent, uh, can't kill. But that up B will kill. Risky puts you in a bad spot, but it definitely has a, a very strong move and a deceptively good kill move uh, coming out at frame four. Yeah, and Mexican has just been all over K9. Quick 51% string. Okay. I think here we go for K9. That's an opening, gets 32%. In response, and keeps it going with that nuclear. Yeah, if K9 needs to, if K9 wants to make this up, he needs to get Mexican into a bad spot and just keep him in disadvantage and not pile on some damage. But he's really struggling to do that right now. Yeah, he really needs to start overwhelming Ike. You know, Ike is a slow character, but if he gets an opening, he can do things like that. Where if you mess oh, up boy. once, K9 going for up the like, honestly, I'm not sure where it was aimed at. But he misses, and that's a free up smash for Mexican taking game one. Yeah, I mean, two up smashes there, and up till closing it out, or taking those stocks from Mexican. I mean, laggy moves, but uh, well placed for Mexican. Of course, that second one was just sort of a punish. Okay, we're seeing the wolf pick come out. Yeah, Wolf has really been K9's go-to for this game. Like I said, he's been dabbling with some other characters, but his Wolf is probably still his best character, and he's gonna put all his chips on it right now. Yeah, and uh, K9 showing one of the things that now he has as he's bringing out this Wolf, that laser. Uh, he can kind of just camp and shoot that out if he wants. Force uh, Ike to approach him more. Yeah, and we saw Mexican getting a lot off of failed approaches from K9 to Lucina in the last game. So if K9 relies more on the laser and makes the Mexican approach, he can do the same sort of punishes. And Wolf is definitely a character that incentivizes you to sit back. He's got that laser. He's got that bad out of field game behind him. So you always want to keep your opponent in front of you and try to avoid being crossed out. Up. So usually you'll, you'll see wolves just kind of sit back and 
we're seeing uh, K9 use that strategy to pretty good effect right now. Uh, spot shots into the trap, great punish on the dash track right there. I feel like he still got a little more, but better safe than sorry. Yeah, better have rather, rather it's better to have the damage than no damage at all, or exactly. even worse, to <laughs> get hit because you went for something too greedy. Alright, K9 burns his jump and Mexican Ooh. gonna punish blood in the water right now. That up air is just a ridiculous move. Is he good? He's alive. K9 looking to catch the top of it with the neutral B, but not quite high enough for yeah. Mexican. Okay, yeah. Mexican's not really having a lot of luck with these dash attacks. I empty hop into the grab. That's going to be a down throw attack. Up air gets a dash attack as well. As I say that. I feel like Mexican expected a will flash onto the stage because of the angle K9 was at, but K9 not going to give it to him, not going to fall prey for that counter. Okay, I like how K9 is sort of mixing up what he's doing after his laser. Uh, he's sort of backed off in the past, but after, but he just went in and, and after he shot the laser that time, just kind of mix up what he's going to do. He's Mexican on his toes. Yeah, he's doing a great job of just weaving in and out, but Wave Grab is going to get punished. He catches okay, the jump with the back, just jumps on photos? No! Okay, goes for the next match, just a little late, and that dash attack almost sealing out the stock. F tilt, that'll do it, catches the get up. K9 down to his last stock here on Winner's Bracket. He has to be careful. Yeah, I just has these moves that are fast, and they are strong. So once you're at a high percent, the Really, the sky is the limit for how this character can kill you. And I feel like we're seeing Kanan start to throw up these forward smashers, just saying, please give me something right now. I need to get the stock up. And that up smash to catch a roll will do it. Kanan gets Mexican onto his last stock. Can he take it to game three right now? Yeah, I mean, K9 a great ledge trapper, to be sure. Uh, I'm surprised we haven't seen him more oppressive at the ledge, but maybe he's just feeling like, oh no. And a big string right here, up throw, looks for an oh, air dodge, <laughs> but K9 says you got me with that too many times the last game, I'm gonna jump out of here. He's he's himself to look. end it, dude. But K9 is still in this. Can he bring this back? Or will Mexican pull off the win here? And he has to be so careful, one good hit, and F tilt will do it, and that is gonna be a 2-0 for Mexican. Is he, in a, is he fighting for his friends? Yes, he's fighting for his friends. Excellent. All right, K9, unfortunately,